Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bo Chan. I'm Nimikum. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read all of you a part of Ulysses. Yes. L. Ulysses. James Joyce. Feb. 15, 16. Mrs. Coins. You might go further and fare worse. Mother Slipper Sapper. Familiarly. She's on the job herself tonight with the vet her tipster that gives her. All the winners and pays for her son in Oxford. Working overtime but her luck's gen today. Suspicious sir. You're not his father. Are you? Bloom, not I. So are you both in black. Has little my see any to cost tonight? His skin. All right. Feels her fingertips approach. Zoe has the nuts. Bloom of side. Curiously, they are on the right. Javier. I suppose. One in a million, my tailor. Mrs. Fizz. Zoe incident alarm. Give a hard chinker. Bloom not likely. Zoe, I feel it. Her hand slides into his left trouser pocket and brings out a hard black shrivelled. Potato. Bloom a talisman. Alim. Say for Zoe. Four keeps. For being so nice. I. She puts the potato greedily into a pocket, then links his arm, cuddling him with supple warmth. He smiles uneasily. Slowly. Note by note. Oriental music is played. He gazes in the tawny crystal of her eyes. Winged with Kohol. So you know me the next time. Bloom, friendly. I never loved a dear gazelle, but it was sure to. Gazelles are leaping. Feeding on the mountains. Near our lakes. Round their shores file shadows back of Sidor groves. Rome arises. A strong hair growth of risen. It burns. The Orient. A sky of sapphire. Cleft by the bronze flight of eagles. Under it lies the woman city. Nude. White. Still. Cool. In luxury. A fountain murmurs among damask roses. Mammoth roses murmur of scarlet wine grapes. Zoe murmuring sings in with the music. Her rudderless clips lucidly smeared with salve of swine fit and rose water. Scarch in a winnowitch. Pinoy 
Bloom, fascinated. I thought you were of good stock by your accent. So he, and you know what thought did? She bites his gently with little gold stock teeth, sending on him a cloying breath of stale garlic. Bloom draws back, mechanically caressing her right but with a flat awkward hand. Are you a Dublin girl? Zoe catches the stray hair deftly and twists it to her coil, no bloody fear. I'm English. Have you a swagard? Bloom as before, really smoke. There. Cigar now and then. Childish device. Lovely. The mouth can be better engaged than with a cylinder of rank weed. Zoe, go on. Make a stump speech out of it. Bloom in workman's corduroy overalls. Black and sea with red floating tie and Apache gap. Mankind is incorrigible. Sir Walter Rudd brought from the New World that potato and that weed. The one I could have pestilence by absorption. Though they're a poisoner of there. I. Heart. Memory. Will. Understanding. All. That is to say he brought the poison a hundred years before another person used. Name I forget brought the food. Suicide. Thrice. All our habits. Oil. Look at our public life. The chimes turn again. Leopold. Ward Mayor of Dublin. Bloom in Alderman's Gang and Chain, Electors of Arnke. Inski. Wattender. Mondry in North Dock. Better run a tram line. I say. From the Kettle Market to the River. That's the music of the future. That's my program. Kibono? But are becoming Van der Dickens in their phantom ship of finance? An elector three times three for our future chief magistrate. The TRCHBRERS Hori. Several one on Burgesses. City magnates and freemen of the city shake hands with Bloom and congratulate him. Timothy Harrington. Late thrice Lord Mayor of Dublin. Imposing a mayoral scarlet. Gold chain and white silk tie. Confers with Councillor Lork and Sherlock. Lockham Tenens. Late Lord Mayor Harrington in scarlet robe with mace. Bold mayoral chain and large white silk scarf. That alderman Sir Leo Bloom's speech be. Printed at the expense of the ratepayers. To be continued.